Well, I was hired here in September 1988, I believe, and uh, I started out in the truck department. Uh, and went from the truck department to, uh, to the finance department and quality control. And uh, it didn't take me long to realize that uh, Flammer Ford was uh, like a family business. Well, I've seen a tremendous change, and I'd have never thought we'd find a, a Ford or a Chevrolet that sold for forty thousand dollars. Not when we used to sell them for twelve and fourteen. But uh, all the technology they have today in the automobile business makes it worthwhile because there's things that uh, that you can do in a car today that you would have never thought of forty years ago. Well, I think I rode every bus in the country, from a school bus right on up to the luxury liners, and. Uh, I played in places like Columbus, Georgia, and uh, Kingsport, Tennessee, San Antonio, Texas, Vancouver, British Columbia, and I also played uh, five years in Latin American countries. I spent two years in Cuba, two years in Puerto Rico, and a year in a winter league, and a year in Venezuela. And uh, I got quite an experience uh, traveling that much and uh, learned an awful lot about not necessarily baseball, but other people's culture and what have you. Well, I was in, matter of fact, I was in winter ball playing in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and uh, the secretary came over and said, you've been traded. And I said, really? To who and for how long? And he said, you're going to Kansas City. Well, the rest is history. Uh, Roger hit his 25th home run off me on June 19, 1961. And uh, this the end of this season will be, near the end of the season, will be the true anniversary of the 50th anniversary of him making the Babe Bruce record. And uh, I had just signed, uh, about six weeks ago, a contract with uh, Toss Bubblegum to reproduce the cards, and they're called heritage cards, uh, from, from that uh, record-breaking home run of uh, Babe Ruth. And uh, I think that by the end of the year, they're gonna have special promotions for these cards, and I'll be glad to participate in whatever they wanna do. See this name here, uh, Leo Posada. His son is catching for the Yankees right now. I can lay awake at night and, and think about the things that I've done and, uh, and experiences that I've had and just, uh, can't believe it sometimes. You know, I had a uniform and a glove and a ball. And the ball club supplied me with a field, a diamond, a shower, all the things that I need to be successful. All I had to do was throw the ball in the right spot. Same way with the car business and teamwork. Car Flamin' Ford furnishes all this property, all these cars, an office, all the paperwork, all the pens, everything that you need to make a living and teamwork. There can't be any better explanation than that. It's not a selling job for me, it's more or less a, a, a communication, a relationship that you build with people. They learn to trust you. And I can safely say that in the 45 years that I've been in this business in this town, never one time have I had to walk behind a building to avoid something like that, uh, a dissatisfied customer. Sure, you're going to have them once in a while, but you don't discard those people. You stay with them, you try to, you know, reinvest in them, whatever it takes, and get those people back. Because you don't want to be constantly standing at the showroom floor hoping somebody's going to come in and buy a car from you. That's not going to happen. You've got to get out and spread the word, be involved in the community, and it'll all pay off.